But in all reality, we had to establish an identity of who we wanted to be. You guys bought into it. And I think you really understand what I mean by that right now. You understand this game is meant to kick somebody's butt. This game is meant to go win. And you guys understand that's the fun you're going to have. You establish what the pride and tradition of pack football is all about. You've established what the standard is, and it's to go have fun. Now, you guys that are in the 2012 team, you're going to go have some fun too because you're going to be able to help make sure that standard is moved up to an elite status. We want to make sure <clears throat> that you understand this 2011 season has a lot of memories for me. It starts this way. I think a year ago at, at this time, I got a text from Drew Schwartz. His signature didn't have his name. It said 11 and 11. 11 and 11. You guys did it. You executed. You believed. You got it done. 11 and 11. That was a collective spirit that was not going to be denied. You guys were disappointed going 9 and 2 the year before. You didn't think that was a standard of packed football. In three short years, you're saying 9 and 2 wasn't good enough. 11 and 11. Now, my challenge to you is this. 11 and 11, what you settled as seniors being able to get accomplished was something amazing. Carry it over to the rest of your life. Carry it over to a high standard where you are going to be exceptional. Carry it over to where you're not going to be average. You're going to be great. Don't settle for second place. When you go on in this world and go compete for the next 40 years, because that's what you're going to have to do to be successful, Look it in the eye and challenge it. Remember, I learned the values of trust, faith, and patience. I learned the value of working together. I learned the value of being able to be directed. I learned the value of saying, take me where I can't take myself. And I guarantee you, you're going to be very, very successful. Don't settle for second place. Have a vision. Buy into it. I also started with this. My memory of this. Winter workouts, all I saw was a bunch of guys who were just so passionate about going to work. 5.45 in the morning, 6.45, 7.45. One guy was late, 5.47. Coaches didn't have to do anything. When players police players, you got something special. We had that this year. Remember that as your success as you go on. We go to our next phase called 30 Dozen. Out in the morning, 6.30, going out and competing. Boy, were those not the most competitive dirty dozens we've ever had? I remember Dexter Scott coming around with a sled and not trying to knock someone out so his team could win. Guys almost fighting so they could win. That's the standard that is set. That's what the 2011 seniors have done. You guys that are in this program, you got an uphill challenge. These guys have set the bar high but you can raise it even higher. Also, I remember spring ball. I've never seen Kobe Wittick so excited. He says, Coach, we got to divide the teams up. We got to go. And then when I said I want the red guy, the red teams to sit over here and the white teams, boy, everybody started hooting and hollering. Remember that in the spring? How intense it was? You know, I watch that game and I go, look at the tape on Monday. I come in and there's 15 guys in the team room looking at the tape. Want to get better. Looking at it. We didn't have any meetings. And I, I started going, you know what? We got a chance. We got a chance. Sure enough, this summer, we're able to see you guys develop the attitude and chemistry. Remember, success doesn't always go to the most talented guys, to talented programs. Success, in my mind, goes to the people that have attitude and chemistry being able to be successful. That's what you have done. That's what this program has done. You've developed the attitude and chemistry of a champion. You work for each other. You have the attitude that you care about each other, and you can accomplish anything. What a tremendous thing you guys have done. Because you know what? You have nobody to show you. You didn't have the seniors to follow. You set what it was to be a pack football player. And I think that's what we talked about in being able to recruit you. When we set out this vision, it was exactly the way we wanted. Except 
We wanted to be in Florence, Alabama, playing the national championship game. That's where we were going to go. Sure enough, we were able to win the Army C, finish 11 and all the season. And I remember coming out at halftime, and I looked at Danny, and he goes, you know what? The number one team lost. I go, I know. But what quite a unique challenge from four years of a vision of a cactus out in the middle of the desert to be at number one in the country. Wow. Take stock in that and understand that's the way it's going to be, guys. That's the way this program's going to be. We ain't falling back. We are headed to Florence, Alabama. And I'm looking for guys that want to do that. I want guys who want to buy into that vision.